I got life, bro. Yeah, I ca I have to cast it out though, which is fine if it works, right? Well, depending on what kind of life you got. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Ah, see Robin, great. That's not what we're looking for. Hey folks, this is my first time narrating a video. I was using the Acaso V50X and for some reason it automatically shut off the sound sometime. Very frustrating. I like the camera a little bit, but now I'm reconsidering just keeping a GoPro because it actually remember what your settings are and the sounds are always on. I worry about this has happened to me twice already and you always have to double check. What you're seeing is the uh, catching of fish and this particular location we actually caught macros they were everywhere and by the way this is in Long Island this is the Atlantic Reef and we were out there and you can see right now I am pulling up the chum pod I have the chum pod with the GoPro down there because I feel the GoPro is actually clearer and I was chumming it with uh, chicken with also bunkers and some bread. So I had a whole mixture of flavors and smell for the fish to come. And if you look at my other videos, you will see the bunker literally crashing onto my camera non-stop. I got stuck with that one, finally got the fish, but man, it was a bad tango. These macros are pure muscle like their body is full of like power right into it it's almost if you look at the back of these macro they almost look like the baby tuna kind of you know they have that similar structure that is really really uh fast like torpedo type of fish in the water now if you also notice in the background there was a bucket i had to bleak them out you should do the same what i have noticed about these macro is that they are so fresh looking in the beginning but the meat disintegrate really really quick i normally what i do is two-step process i stab them in the head and then i cut in between the uh kind of like the the gill area in the bottom before the gill cut that open and put them upside on the bucket let them bleed out otherwise the meat quality it's really bad when you get home and also once they're done bleeding out uh, you can actually put it on ice and the ice is so important like that will keep the meat nice and firm now while you're cleaning one thing I have learned is you do not take them all out at once if you do that temperature if your house is warm especially during this time it was a little chilly uh, and if and your house is really warm then what will happen is the meat will start to disintegrate very quick and you shouldn't be doing that so fillet one at a time clean them up and if you need to salt them or anything like that you should do it like half a batch at a time or maybe a quarter of your batch just to make sure the fish is still um, you know nice and firm and doesn't fall apart as easily so you see the rest of the video, I do have a lot of fish and uh, constantly catching mackerel. Uh, my friend Gary caught only a few, maybe it was the chum. I happen to be exactly the chums. There you go, that's my friend Gary. 
he caught the uh, macro. Man, his is pretty big. These macro are no joke. They were huge. And we never caught this many macro going out there during that, you know, this particular time in October. So, but this was the best fishing that we had on macro catch, I believe. How at the end, we caught approximately, I would say, maybe around 13 macros. That's a lot. I mean, for the amount of short time that we were getting blitz on, we're getting hits on. It's like, once you drop, you got a hit and it was a good fight. I did lose two of them and I think one was probably a trigger. I did pull one trigger up, but the other trigger must have taken me down so far and so fast that it refused to come up and then it snapped my line. Even though I have great drags in there, I don't know what it was. He must have, you know, bit through that um, braided line that I have, so he snapped it up. Now, there's another big one prior to this as well, which took me down too, and they were huge macro. There's a big macro, some of them, and they are so strong, just pulling it down. So you can see a whole bunch of macro, you know, just keep coming up, and they are just wiggling like crazy. Every time you bring them up, you, sometimes you don't even have to unhook it because they're just wiggling around. There you go, my friend just caught another macro too. Uh, he caught around three macro, and I caught the remaining, which is pretty fun. These fish are great catching fish, and they're great eating, but again, you have to make sure you know what you're doing on preparing it, storing it, and making sure that, um, you know, they are uh, really stored in a nice cold ice area. Otherwise, eh. I mean, I, I brought it home one time, the meat was so soft, it was such a waste to kill an animal like that and not be able to eat it. It was a little sad. But now we, I have learned how to take care of them a little better and making sure that we do enjoy the, the fish that we catch. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my first narrating. Hopefully you like this. And it is a little bit long, um, but it's so worth watching. Let's look at this. These macros are just everywhere.